Hey, hey, got a quick word for you today. The Spirit of the Lord desires that you would live a full life. The Bible says this in Ephesians chapter number three, verse number 14. It says, my response is to get down on my knees before the Father, this magnificent Father who parcels out all heaven and earth. I ask him to strengthen you by his Spirit. That's my prayer for you too. Not by a brute strength, not a brute strength, but a glorious inner strength. Like that is my prayer. That is, hallelujah, even the apostles prayer for you as he was writing this a glorious inner strength not a brute strength that Christ will live in you as you open the door and invite him in and I ask him that with both feet planted firmly on love you'll be able to take in with all followers of Jesus the extravagant dimension of Christ's love reach out and experience the breath test its length plumb the depths rise to full heights live full lives again that is the will of the Lord for you to live a full life. Some of you, you've been living too small. Some of you, you've been dummying down your life, your joy. And God is saying, I want you to live a full life. Full, it says what? In the fullness of God. That's the root of all things, that it's in the fullness of God. Check this verse number 20 in the message. It says, God can do anything, you know. I want you to, you know, he can do anything. Some of you have been struggling with that, but far more than you can ever ask, think, or imagine. It's time for you to live again. It's time for your heart to beat again. It's time for you to do all those things that you've been waiting for and live the full life that God promised you. The Bible talks about in John chapter number 10, verse number 10, um, how the enemy comes to steal, to kill, and destroy. Jesus said, but I've come. I've come that you would have life and that you would have that life more abundantly. That is the Lord's desire for you today. So be it unto you in Jesus' name.